your host, Derek Silver. Today we're making a drink that has lychee liqueur, but in my case, lychee vodka, because I can't get lychee liqueur. Realistically, I don't think it's going to be that much different. Maybe not as sweet. Whatever. This is called the Flip the Switch cocktail, submitted by David um, in Aust Austria, not Australia. Austria. Probably not too long ago. Two different ago. places. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I, well, when I say not too long ago, probably like a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's better than four, though. So. Well, then, then here's the problem. I, what I did is I knew I had lychee. I knew that I needed because people keep asking me. This is distilled from rice, gluten-free. Oh, they put gluten-free. Duh. Uh, but it's a vodka. All vodka is gluten-free. The, the I saw it when I was at Drink Up New York. You guys, seriously. Um, that's probably an interesting. And Eric. when I saw it, I, I picked it up because I knew that people had been submitting over the years lychee recipes. And I did a search for lychee in one of my mailboxes, found this recipe, so I said, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I was gonna almost go to Flernum for the simple syrup that's in this recipe, but Jennifer convinced me to get some simple syrup. I didn't feel like making it, because it was really late and I just needed to go, and that is why awesome drinks sell simple syrup. Because sometimes you just need simple syrup and you don't have time to boil sugars and do all that stuff. So, we have it. And we have, what, yeah! What, Eric, buy simple syrup? No, that would be silly. Um, so we have it for those that need it. It's also nice to just have on hand in case you do need it like this. We don't have any left because I just took one, but whatever. So it's an ounce and a half of 10 cane rum. So I'm using 10 cane. You can use your whatever your favorite rum is. This is going to be, this is a, what do they call it? Pure cane, something like that, distilled, blah, 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 blah. They guess pure cane rum or whatnot. Trinidad, kingdom of rum. So if you can't get 10 cane, use something that tastes more like a pure cane rum as opposed to a molasses base, I believe is the trick between this. Lychee liqueur if you got it. If not, you can use what I got, Kai, I'm guessing. I think I, I don't know, it's lychee vodka. So we're gonna do a half ounce of that, just a little bit. Then we're gonna do a bar spoon of, oh, got a bar spoon. Bar spoon of simple syrup. Open this entire thing for a bar spoon. And a dash of Spanish bitters I'm using, which I believe is the only Spanish bitters, is Adam Elmagrib's Spanish bitters. Again, you can get them on awesomedrakes.com if you would like some Spanish bitters. They're not cheap. They're imported from the UK. But just let me know. That's going to be the recipe. Really small. Going to put it into a diamond martini glass. And that's about it. Let's do it. We're going to, let's see, lychee liqueur. Oh, we got some sugar in here, so we'll, we'll, do, we'll do a little bit of shake. So it'll be a little opaque. If you don't like that, then just stir it. You know what? Let's just stir it. Huh. Apparently you don't like that. I, I think it'll just look cool. So what I'll do is put my shaker away. Get me some ice. Probably just gonna need two bricks. Do our simple syrup first, because we can. It's right here. Boom. Bar spoon! Done. Now we'll do... Put that, make sure you refrigerate this, by the way, when you're done. No preservatives in that. Plus it's just sugar and it will kind of get weird over time if you leave it out. Then we're gonna do an ounce and a half of the tin cane. I haven't used this in a while. Years, I'd say, in a cocktail. I know we pull it out to just do some taste comparisons on. And then this stuff, half ounce of lychee and see what this tastes like it's weird kind of reminds me of elderflower for some reason not as sweet but very floral Ooh. floral floralness oh i was going to pour this in here but since now i'm using it now if you like the diamond martini you can get that awesome drinks for a limited time only because we don't sell enough of them, so I'm trying to, I sailed them, I just want to get rid of them. So if you want to pick them up before they're gone, I don't plan on getting them again. They're cool, but if they don't sell a lot, I need the room for other cool stuff that does sell. Plain and simple, it's business, yo. And that, my friends, is how you do it. We're gonna do a dash of the Spanish bitters. It's been a while since we've used uh, Adam's bitters. Let's see, chamomile, citrus peel, some sort of root. Angelica root, and whatever that other root is. Looks like it says orus. Could be anise, but I don't think that makes sense. Get that nice and chill. Yo. Done. Strain that bitch right into this glass right here. We're good to go. 
you could use a lychee fruit as a garnish if you so can find one. I know I can't. Oh, it's got like Probably a... Probably at an Asian supermarket. Yeah, you'd have to go Asian on that one. <clears throat> this has a light, very ever so light gold, very similar to the 10 cane. So it looks like 10 cane in color. So that's kind of cool. If you if you shook it, it would probably just turn out like a white opaque, but you get more of that gold color, which makes it just look a little bit classier. It smells like lychee. Yep. Whew. Alcohol scale, we'll start out with that. I'm thinking like six. It's got a little bit of tart bite in the finish. Um, that could just be alcohol speaking. Definitely, this is more of your pronounced martini style drink. If you're looking at, you know, different types of martinis that you can make, there's the Jennifer route, which are like chocolate martinis and mint and Midori, not mint, sorry, Midori, and things that kind of hit that sweet spot. I like a good chocolate vodka martini if I needed to have a martini to begin with. I don't just like pure vodka. I, very little have I seen rum used in that type of drink. But in this one, the rum is definitely the center focus from the, the potency level. Uh, a little bit of back end, like a tart dryness, which is weird. And then the, the rest of the flavors are, are herbal, but flower, or not herbal, maybe more floral. There's more flowery notes to this than herbal notes. So you look and you think herbal notes, you think, um, what, like a, a Jaeger, a Chartreuse, anything in those type of qualities. Not like that. Or absinthe is another one of the herbal ones. Gin has some herbal qualities. This definitely plays more on the the lychee chamomile type side of the floralness. Bright floral notes. A little bit of citrus, but overall unique and different. Something you, if you were to put this on a bar menu, I don't know if you'll get people who want to return it or not. Like, it's just different. If people like the same, if they like to experience different things, David's recipe will work because it gives you a very different flavor that's not off-putting, it's just different. Of course, if people are used to lychee, maybe they're like, oh, this has got lychee in it because it has that type of flavor. Like, if you know what lychee tastes like, you will not have a problem identifying this. I would have a problem because I don't, we don't have lychee fruit up here. I think it's white. I don't even freaking know. But I think it, play, it it definitely is a good showing for this product. I'm not exactly 100% certain on where else to use lychee vodka. So I figured at least being able to showcase it in a small dosage, because this to me is like a liqueur. You add this to a drink to build that aromatic accent. I don't think you add it to a drink and just say, I'm going to make, oh, I need vodka. This calls for vodka. Let's just use lychee. It's the same thing. This is vodka in the name. Shh. Bad idea. Definitely more of an additive than the main component, which can be seen by just the small amount added here. The sugar, I think, is used to play off the, the, the cane rum. Probably brings down some of that alcohol. If I say, what did I say? Probably five or six, maybe. After sips four, I'm going with a little less. If you left out the simple syrup, I think it would be balanced a little bit more dry and a little bit more potent like you'd be breathing alcohol, but the sugar gives it a nice balance to it that keeps it from getting a little crazy. And the bitters, of course, bring it all together, bring some extra flavor to it. So it's just not a lychee cocktail. It is more of a bombardment of awesome floral notes. That, my friends! Oh, I just got my phone all wet with whatever's on here. Probably simple syrup. Let's see. Yep. Did you want a question today? Question of the day! Of course I want a question! Not really sure what it's asking, but... <laughs> Question that we can't actually translate for you. What do you think of the baseball last weekend? What do you think of the baseball last weekend? I thought it was white and had like little red sew patterns on it. I guess there was the baseball game. There was the, yeah... Uh, baseball started? Follow baseball. Yeah, spring training. I don't know anything about baseball. What's Hard your favorite I sport? Know, but... That's If you don't know about your thoughts on the baseball, then... <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I want to stick with that. Um, then, what, what's your favorite sport? I don't even care if it's that oh. game where they where they brush the little thing spinning. What's curling. Curling. Why? I don't get. What's it called? Curling for? Where's the curl? I don't know. I didn't name it. 
Thumb wrestling. If that's your favorite sport, write it. I don't care. Football. Do football. And Are you ready for some football? You can say American football or fake football. Either way, like <laughs> it's it, soccer. Only one type of football, and that's American. That's it is. <laughs> the 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 best type of football is play with your hands. Truth. Um, you know, soccer, football, uh, foosball, whatever country you're from, you can write that as well. And you can make fun of our football in there, our egg, what do they call it? Egg, egg hand egg? Hand I think egg. I've heard people call it hand egg. And, oh, something's wrong with my, I think I called myself. Oh, F1 racing? F1 racing's fun! I love that. Wait, no. That's not what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of the one where you actually get in the car. You're actually going. <laughs> if you've been in your Braintree Boston area, this F1 Boston, and I think that's pretty cool. I would rather that's be what racing. That's you actually drive. You know, you drive go karts. Yeah, but you, uh, I mean, you uh, physically as you get in a car and Oh, yeah, drive. yeah, yeah. I like the ones where I'm actually part of the race. Yeah. Not just watching it. Watching racing is boring, but I'm sure that's a sport. There's way too many we'll count, laps. We'll count golf and we'll count um, other types NASCAR. of sports in there. Yeah, NASCAR. Hey, if you're getting ready to play golf, my buddy Rob, we have a contest going on. Who's going to make their business boom first? AustinDrinks.com, that's my plug. Or his, which is 3UP Golf. So 3, the number 3, U P G O L F dot com. If you want to support a, a golf ball maker that built his, he designed his own ball, right? This is a guy I work with. He ball designed the ball. We both launched at the same time. So I got the store, he has a golf ball. And so, for, and he's doing really well. He's getting into some, some local stores and stuff. He donates a charity for every ball that gets purchased. But go up to 3UP Golf if you're not like... I think he said it's not like the not like the people who just kick around balls like me, but somebody who likes to play a little bit more seriously. Like they either belong to a club or they golf a lot and they just burn through balls a lot because you're not a pro and you can't just go get your ball everywhere. Uh, his balls are cheaper than everybody else's. You got to play with Rob's balls. It's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I love, that's the best thing about having a store like that. He said he was at a trade show and somebody's like, "Oh, your balls are so like a lady." She's like, "Oh, the your balls are so soft." <laughs> And he's just staring, and, and like she caught herself, and she's like, "Oh, I'm oh, sorry." He's like, "I've heard them all." That's an oops moment. That's an oops, and she didn't mean to say it. Other people, right. I like to play with their balls, <laughs> um, but you know, it's pretty funny. So, if you want to support two people, you can also to support me. You go to Rob's site, and you'll notice he has the same chat windows that we have on ours, um, and support him. Just don't buy too much from him because I still have to get to the first million dollars before mm. he does. Then we owe each other something. We don't know what it is, but maybe scotch, whatever we Someone in the chat room's favorite sport is bouldering. Bouldering? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> so what is that? You throw a boulder down, or is it climbing walls? <laughs> hey, it could climbing. be rock climbing. Rock climbing's fun. That's pretty cool. I'd like to get back into rock climbing, but I'm... Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, anyway. But it takes effort. <laughs> but it takes effort, and it's hard. And I gotta uh, move. I gotta move. Uh, so there you go. We're done. Go to AustinDrakes.com. Just buy the rest of these Dino Martini glasses because I just... I'm not lazy. I just really like sitting around. They're over there in a box and I, they're just, I move them around to get them out of the way. Um, they're nice. It's just nobody buys them. So you, <laughs> you should buy them. That way you have them. Limited time offer. I'm sure you can probably find them somewhere else. EverydayDrinkers.com. That is where you find the internet and cocktails. We're done. We're teaching how to drink.